Hi, uh, Stephanie, this is uh, Fernando, and uh, this is um, a video I'm preparing for you uh, so you can uh, actually use it uh, to uh, be able to use the SIF forms. And I know that we have uh, some phone calls about this already, but I just wanted to uh, uh, highlight the points that we talk about to make sure that you got this um, information and uh, you can use this as a reference for later on. So this is the main um, place where you're going to come and uh, you're going to create a new transaction. Uh, and then uh, over here, that's where you're going to put uh, your transaction name. So I'm going to put test for Stephanie. If I can start the name. Then um, let's say it's a purchase. So we're going to go to purchase. OK. So now this is uh, the three windows that I was talking to you about. Uh, first of all, obviously we need a cover sheet, which is this is the main sheet that uh, I was telling you that we needed this information because this is where you're gonna put information about you and uh, about the selling broker and uh, all that stuff, okay? And then this is the one that I was telling you, it is the template to put every other document that you're gonna put here is going to transfer the information you're putting here into those documents. So let's say you're going to do an addendum of clauses. Uh, first of all, let me go and make sure that you understand that this is the, the different areas where we have the G card. And um, let's say you're going to be in Frederick County. And uh, so you're going to uh, have uh, search, numeric, categorized, or alphabetic. So let's, uh, let's look at uh, alphabetic first this is all the documents there is on frederick that are, uh, are all the contracts that you can use numeric meaning is somebody tells you or you you know for sure the number of the document that you need this is where you're going to be able to find it uh, categorized meaning that if you have purchased you can go purchase and then automatically it's going to show you all the all the um, purchase and then uh, on search, you can go to search and let's say you're looking for um, something about the form disclosures, for example. Okay, so you're going to go to this little binoculars here. You're going to go there, right to farm in Washington County. So basically, that's something that you're going to use if you're going to do something in Washington County. Let's say you're doing a short sale disclosure. So you want to put short sale binoculars and then it's going to show you all the short sale information in that you can use. So let's go back and go to um, to categorize for uh, purchase okay uh, automatically this is already in there the appraisal addendum let's say you don't want this over here you can remove it out of there okay so right now let's say we're doing a uh, uh, you know anything you know you can uh, put more than one let's say we can do a blank addendum and then we can do a uh, 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 let's see property inspection okay and um, and obviously you know you're gonna have the contracts everything else this is the contract of sale but anyway you're gonna get into this uh, but very quickly I'm gonna go to the blank addendum um, I'm sorry let's go to the cover sheet and uh, sorry about the phone so let's say the buyer's name is um, you know wherever okay the last name is whatever and um, so you save that, and so now you're gonna go to uh, to uh, the blank addendum. Automatically, it's going to put the names in there. Okay, so over here you can put anything uh, uh, to a man uh, contract something. Okay, all other items to remain the same. So basically, you put that in there, and you know the purchaser's name is already in there. If you have put the seller name already on the cover, it should be in there already. Okay. Same thing with uh, property inspections. You're gonna go to property, double click on that, and it's gonna show already the buyers and anything you wanna add. And then finally the contract. Okay. So then you save that over here. You can send it, print it, whatever you want to do. That's it for today. Thank.